Welcome back, everybody. The 10th annual Guns versus Hoses charity hockey game is coming up next weekend. And it's playing on words because it's a hockey game between our local police officers and firefighters. And joining me now to talk more about it, we have Norfolk, Norfolk Police Sergeant Rich DeLeo and Captain of the Virginia Beach Fire Department, Tom Stone. Appreciate you both coming on. Hey, thanks for having us. Thanks All right, for having so us. we know who's who. We could tell by the jerseys. <laughs> they look great, by the way. I want to start just by kind of setting the scene and the natural rivalry, a fun rivalry, albeit, between police and fire. Can you talk a little bit about that? Well, obviously we have a lot of respect for each other. Sure. We work hand in hand, uh, day in and day out. Uh, when this event comes around, uh, we try to uh, put on a good show. I'll play a good competitive game, and for an hour and a half, two hours, it's a uh, uh, pretty hard for a uh, hockey game. All right, Tom, and tell us about the hockey game and what we need to know. Well, basically what Rich said, it's, uh, it's a good rivalry. We've had a really good game in the past few years, and uh, we're looking to get back on top. Had kind of a slow game for us last year, but... What happened last year? I gotta ask. They got us. They got one. Okay. Uh, so they put it to us pretty good. I think, what was the score? Five to one, five to two? <laughs> Something like that. Something like Something that. Either way. Exactly. I mean, you've, been, you've been doing this 10 years, right? We have. Both of you? Okay. Yeah. And it's getting more competitive every year, so it's been it's a really exciting game, actually. Is this something you guys practice for throughout the year leading up to this game? We all play hockey in separate leagues. Some of us play together on, on, on leagues throughout the year. We do practice uh, several times before uh, over at the scope uh, leading up to the game. So everyone's got pretty good familiarity with each other, and it's pretty well organized uh, teams. Now, this is a charity event. Let's talk a little bit about what the money goes towards. Well, we've uh, chosen two charities this year. Uh, one of them is Edmark, and the other one is the Benjamin Goldman uh, Foundation. And both of them are just uh, fabulous foundations. They uh, really try to, what we say, change the story. Uh, the children going through some very difficult times and uh, the uh, charities use an integrated medicine theory, which uses dance, music, art therapy, uh, just kind of to help uh, empower the families to uh, stay strong and uh, you know, think positive. And the results have been uh, really good and we're really proud about both the charities. So Tom, this is a ticketed event and proceeds will go to the charities? It is, yep. So the tickets that we're selling, the tickets that the police are selling, it's, we're, sending them, we're splitting the money up and it's going to each charity. Okay, and yeah, and the information is right there. $15 tickets. Again, it's coming up on March 3rd. All right, I got to yeah, ask. March 7th. Uh, March 7th, excuse me. March 7th is the correct date on that. Thank you for that correction. That's correct. All right, we've been doing this 10 years. You guys have been keeping record, right? We sure have. Well, it's been, it's been in the back of the mind, especially after you uh, lose a game. You kind of remember it the, the next year. So with 10 years passed under our belt now, it's uh, uh, easy to remember the yeah, eight and two. The record, eight, but <laughs> you were gonna say. It gives us a little motivation each year. To a little motivation, that's right. Absolutely. Do you start recruiting early on in the year? Uh, we usually together? start this uh, whole process somewhere around October, November, as far as picking the date, and then from there we do start searching for uh, players in the Hampton Roads area and the police and the fire department to try and get uh, competitive uh, players onto the team. Sounds good. Well, look, on behalf of everybody here at 13 News Now, we thank both of you for what you do every day. You're true heroes in our local community. Go out, support them, support the charities. It's coming up March 7th. We're back